So when a lady makes the first move, whatever goes in your mind as a guy, what what plays in your mind? So when a lady makes the first move, move there are a few things that come to mind. First off, there's a default thinking. Ah, why would she make the first move? I mean, welcome to Africa. Yeah, we don't do that here. So exactly. You want to wonder why is she overly bold, or it's a norm for her? Do you understand? It's a thing of okay. She doesn't have a lot of value in food. So that one comes to mind. Whether you're very mature as a man or not, it doesn't matter. It comes. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that you're going to dwell on it is uh, the function of maturity and immaturity. So, you know, there's this thing that I believe that women suffer from. I mean, this part of the world. Mm. You really cannot choose the man that you want. You cannot go for a man. You have to sit back and let you fate. Yeah, you understand? Bring the man to uh, Yeah, yeah. Hello, so beautiful corner warriors. Hello guys. Welcome to another episode of Keeping It Real with my beautiful, my amiable self, Kosi and my co-host, Rina. Yeah, we are out here at the beautiful Tobik's Garden. If you're wondering where Tobik's Garden is, it's situated along a Madubelo Expressway. So if you're coming from Gariki, Wuse, uh, Apo, Apo, yes, hit Banex and drive as little as five minutes or less, you're going to find it on your left. If you're coming from Live Camp, Warren. yeah, Warren, Warren Park, just hit next, which is a good landmark, and drive as little as one minute, one minute ish. You're going to find it on your right. Yeah, um, it's, it is a vast place. The ambience is good. You can do your wedding reception, birthday parties, and picnics. They also have a play area for kids, so you can come along with your kids and they have compartments of restaurants in case you want to eat something it's quite affordable they are open from sundays to saturdays from morning till evening yeah um yeah so also you can follow us on our socials our instagram is um real underscore yeah real underscore with, yeah and our tiktok is the same the real same. underscore with the kr and our Facebook is keeping it real with Kosi and Rina. So are you ready for us? We have a guest. We have a guest today. We have a guest today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have a sizzling topic, guys. Yes, so we so. did we did a topic on um, a lady making the move, the first move on a guy. Now we're about to do a sequel, and who better to get on the show than the cute. Cute Tony. Tony, you're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so me. much for joining us. You can introduce yourself. And, okay, my yeah. name is um, Tony George. I'm a brand consultant. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a creative thinker. Mm -hmm. I'd like to stop there. Do you have any socials so we can connect? Uh, yes, Tony George. Tony underscore underscore George underscore underscore. Instagram? Instagram. Okay. I think Instagram is fine. Okay, Tony, we have to put you on the spot <laughs> because this topic has been like a bone of contention. contention. The other day we had it, okay. we went we went back and forth, and um, I don't know how I see like a lady making the first move, but I have a question for you first of all. Okay, has a lady ever made the first move on you? Yeah, a couple of times. I have one like two weeks ago. <laughs> Are you huh? Just two yeah. weeks back. Yeah. Wow. How did that go? How did you feel? Yeah, it feels good to know that someone um, is attracted to you. I mean, it feels good. You know, anyone who tries to deny that side, the person will be lying. So it feels good to know that. Um, I also think that it's not just about the other person being attracted to you. What about you? Are you attracted to the person? Yeah. Well, I'll just narrow it down to your question. Say, how did I feel? I felt good about it like oh, well did you, did you i had massage yeah, you know, head 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 <laughs> like did, did you <laughs> make your head swell okay if it was my first time maybe i got that effect the first time but so I, it's a I usual thing it's something no, that you're no, used not, to not yeah. usual but i mean yeah it's not the first it's time so yeah um it felt good but there was a little element of worry because i know for for men okay so if a lady turns down a guy, she expects that he should 
pick up yourself and move on and understand that she doesn't want you. But for ladies, it's not like that. Your emotional investment is very important. Yes. So, I, so the B part of my feeling was, um, I don't think I want this person. So how is this person going to feel? How is she going to take yes. it? Some will go to the extent of becoming enemies with you, like yes. seeing you as an enemy, like, do you understand? So there was that part. So because of that, okay, my first experience, uh, yes, I think I fell for that. I was acting along, like, okay, in a bit to appreciate the fact that you had the guts to come and say to a guy, mm -hmm. I like you, I want you and the rest. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to be civil. Mm -hmm. Be cool, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now my being cool and being all civil was, was mistaken, yeah, yeah, for okay, I think he likes me too. Yeah. So this time around or subsequently, subsequently yeah. I just thought, okay, no. I would be civil, mm -hmm. yes, but I would just make the lines very clear, as clear as possible. So that's the same thing I did with this person. So yeah. How did she feel there? Did he bruise our ego? Oh yeah, certainly. That one is not something that we can manage. Yeah, so he did, but the, <coughs> my approach to the situation actually reduced the effect. I mean, the negative effect. So, so what if he makes the first move? Whatever goes in your mind as a guy, okay. what plays in your mind? Okay, so I, I like this topic because <coughs> I'm going to um, expand on it and then yeah. you get to see some other things that a lot of people are not looking at. Yeah. So when a lady makes the first move, mm -hmm. move mm -hmm. there are a few things that come to mind. First off, there's a default thinking. Ah, why would she make the first move? I mean, welcome to Africa. Yeah. You don't do that here. So exactly. you want to wonder why is she overly bold or it's a norm for her. Do you understand? It's a thing of okay, she doesn't have a lot of value in court. So that one comes to mind. Whether you're very mature as a man or not, it doesn't matter. It comes. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that you're going to dwell on it is uh, it's a function of maturity and immaturity. So it comes to mind and then <clears throat> on a second thought you want to think, what if she's coming because she's particular about what she wants? You know, there is this thing that I believe that women suffer from. I mean, in this part of the world. Mm. You really cannot choose the man that you want. You cannot go for a man. You have to sit back and let you fate. Do yeah, you understand? Bring the man to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's not a very realistic concept. So, when a woman comes, as much as I want to think, hmm, why is she coming at first? Secondly, I'm thinking, okay, this person is particular about what they want. Mm. They don't, they, she doesn't want to just sit back and wait yeah, until someone come, come and then somehow the is the person that yeah. she likes no so she doesn't want to leave it to fit. so i try to focus more on this part B. so with that i don't get to judge the lady i just get to say okay let me see what this person is coming with and like i said earlier there are other parts to this thing that a lot of people are not looking at i think the the bulk of the problem with relationship and success with relationship is the fact that women cannot choose. I'll narrow it down. So there is something called trade and but trade by butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all know about trade mm -hmm. by butter. So how does it relate to this? There's a factor that determines whether a transaction is going to take place when it comes to trade by butter. Yeah. It's called double coincidence of want. So I have yam, you have this. You want yam. I want this. If you want yam, I don't want this. We cannot trade. Yeah. So that's the thing about relationships. So for the men it works, do you understand? I see you, I like you, I'll go. Do you understand? I will go to but the woman cannot come to me. So sometimes um the women actually um, they've seen someone that they like, but they cannot approach the person. And then there's this other guy who is okay, I think he's caring and the rest. Eventually you settle with a man because of how it makes you feel, not how you feel about him. Yeah. You know, they are two different things. Yeah. So that's the problem. So there's women eventually do not get to settle with who they would have lost to. So what the personality that this man is bringing is not necessarily what the woman wants. But I mean, you have that's to settle with someone at the end of the day. So mm. now, when you settle with someone that's not exactly what you want, mm. it's just a question of time. You get tired of it. So hence the reduced success rate. And 
again you see i think i'm going to digress a little but i think it's still no part problem. of it you see cases where a girl or a lady has a boyfriend or a husband and then has like five other male friends not necessarily having anything mm -hmm. sexual with them but yes it's the thing so you have someone that you like or someone that has come to show that he likes you and then you have to settle with him yeah. but he's not the person that you would have chosen like i talked about double coincidence of one it's not what you want but he wants you he was you available, don't he was available. Yeah. so this guy is um caring which is a very important factor but it's not intellectually sound he's not financially okay he's not um, emotionally stable he's not um solution oriented so what you do is you get him get to another chinedu who is who is intellectually sound yeah. get this guy um isaiah who is quite spiritually mm -hmm. sound Pick so TK. you you have five of them do you understand so <laughs> uh, that's the reason why a lot of girls i, I think i've asked a few questions do this it's not necessarily to cheat or something a woman ha wants a awesome man yeah. but the fact that she cannot cheat yes. she has to settle and then get the other personality to feel right like so exactly hence the problem if you okay i would ask you as ladies that's if you have someone now the person that you're you're with if you had all the choices to make if the table was turned would you have gone to that person to ask him to be very sincere first of all <laughs> i can't ask out i'm not with anyone secondly i have a... the person that you've been with before in the past okay so but but what he had was um i think it was like it filled up it checked like a lot of nine, boxes right 80 percent of the boxes okay. please yeah. I, i'm i'm with someone but i cannot and i did not do the asking i can't do the asking i mean that you no, know but he asked the question uh, what i'm saying is if, Answer if, if it wasn't the if crime it, that okay, we asked if, it, if the table were to be turned around yes. right, would, would I you go amongst you? other people mm -hmm. would it would he have been your choice like this is yes, what i want is what i want okay so um I, what I, want, but I can't make the move but right now right i'm right specific now. on what no, i want tell you i can't yeah. make the move but i can i can give some green light <laughs> exactly. what I mean. so yeah your case may be the one out of so many but i know that there, there's a lot of people out there who are with someone that if they had the power to choose i mean power they wouldn't have chosen the person. So are you but trying to tell me he ticked, he, he checked all the boxes? Be very sincere. Are you trying to eh? say that that he checked all of the boxes? Oh. <laughs> eighty percent of the boxes, and I don't think you can get hundred percent of what you want. So if you have 80, 70 percent, then it's that cool. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So me looking for a hundred percent of the boxes, like me being greedy, which is not even it's, it's not near impossible. Yeah. Yes. So back to the question, it's um, it feels good. Mm -hmm. And then, if you are mature enough, you will understand that okay, certain people come to you because they are certain and precise about what they want, mm -hmm. and they cannot leave it to fate. That's why they are coming to you. Like I like you. I will go for it. I don't care what society suggests or something. So, uh, so I don't have a problem. With that. Uh, but you know, personally, you don't. Hold like, on, I'm, I'm very curious. <laughs> How did they come to you? Did they come like? Was it like a direct kind of I like you, Tony? Can we date? Okay, so or there was like a subtle kind of you know, approach to it. Uh -huh. Okay, so yes, that most of the time is a um, a green light thing. Okay. But I've had cases like about five cases of see, I like you. I direct. want to be with you. Yes, no. Like the very first time. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the, the... <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you. <laughs> so the last I one I had. I wish I had that kind of courage. <laughs> the person actually um okay I think somehow we we got on a very good together and then we were sitting side by side and then she asked for my number so apparently she had been seeing me. Yeah. Doing, yeah. So. And then she called me that night and told me that she likes me like she had she she had had a crush on me for quite some time like she had seen me a couple of times so people go that direct yeah. <laughs> would you advise a lady to do that though okay i like this angle from which you're coming um no because i mean again welcome to africa 
the truth is there's something called orientation mm -hmm. so we have grown with this orientation no matter exactly. how mature you want to be there's a part of you there's a back end of your brain that is saying no no if a lady does this it's not good mm -hmm. so no matter, matter how exposed you are how mature you are there's that so unconsciously you begin to act with that even if you don't plan to so you begin to see the lady like that you begin to but but really aside from all those facts we're trying to state i feel that a relationship will work better if the lady wants you as much as you want really tony you no know, i don't think so <laughs> no you know, it's actually to be if the man <laughs> no so so it's not a gender battle right here <laughs> I know it's but it's battle. arguable but i feel that okay it's because of emotional investment when a woman invests in you emotionally, she she's strong in the relationship. I've been in both type, like the one when okay, this person is logically with me. This person wants to be with me for X Y Z reason. I've also been in a relationship where this person is with me because their heart is with me. I've seen the difference. One is stronger than the other. For a lady, you might say, okay, when a man loves you more. Okay, so you discover that I may not be in the best position to say this. Maybe ladies will discover that there's that guy that you love for nothing. Like you really cannot Tell why place why the reasons on the why? table. Yeah, just and you are so yeah. And then there's this guy who has all the reasons on ground. But you like him, uh, but I mean, he's not, he's not as strong as yeah. It has to. It, it, the weather has to be right before you vibe with him. When you are facing any form of discomfort, discomfort like maybe your month, monthly whatever, mm -hmm. you don't want to talk with him. But there's this other guy that you still want to talk with. So I, I believe that if it comes naturally, if it comes from within you, I, I feel that it will work better. I don't know. But that's what I think. I've seen cases and I think it works better. So, how should they look? Body language? Um, well, um, <laughs> body language. Body language. Okay, green light. Yes. Uh, yes, I feel green light. Um, I, I, okay. I feel like the green light is better than you know, than just walk straight exactly. and say, "Oh, I like you." I don't know. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> it feels weird to me. It is. <laughs> and then, and then, you know why green light is also good for damage control. So, if I give you green light as a lady, and then you don't. I don't vibe with my green light. Mm. I can just withdraw and say, not be green light. Uh, now you just now you call and green yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, your damage but control is green true. light. You can never deny. Yeah, <laughs> the you green light. Watch your green light. Then your light too green. So yeah, I think green lights are okay. Oh, okay. Are well, okay. as a guy, do you feel um, you know most men mm. uh, do take advantage of ladies who um, ask them out first? Yes, like make the move, make the yeah. move, make the move first. And mm. if you think that most guys that we have you guys who actually yeah. definitely there are guys who actually take advantage. Mm. Okay. But you think what's what's the percentage like? I think it's a lot. Yes, I think eight percent of the guy would, and it's traceable to the revenge approach. Like maybe you've had girls in the past who has done a lot of shakara and then oh, really? this one is coming to the hour ah, we'll show you better so there's that and i think it's a function of maturity so are you safe to say mm. don't make the move as a lady no it's not <laughs> safe to say that <laughs> don't, are, you, are you advising the ladies to make the move okay so i'm saying <laughs> if you like the no, guy based based on on the guy's maturity everything i've been whatever. saying mm. you might not be very sure if the person is mature until you, you get to know the person yeah. them and the rest of them so i'm saying to the ladies I'm, I'm saying no not exactly <laughs> Stop the, fact, the fact that you cannot just sit back and wait for anybody to come and then just pick someone you're very particular about what you want and you find it find the most subtle way to show your life because really let me tell you the truth like there's a breed of men now that will not work for any just any lady they are called the high value men so for a high value man a high value man rather <clears throat> Your green light is very important to me. So if you are going to play any act to get or you like me, you are not showing it, I will go. Hmm. For the regular guy, he will not go. He will keep trying to find out. No, a high value man doesn't want to find out that your green lights, your gestures, your whatever it is that you are doing it's is very form, yeah, it's a factor for us to place on the table and consider. So if you say I should advise the ladies now not to show any sign. 
you won't meet a high value man. It's not possible. Because he knows that he has value. And then he's very he understands the concept of double coincidence of one two. He needs to like me too. Oh, for yeah. some men, once I once they like you, they'll just be going, they don't care whether I don't like them. No, for a high value man, you need to like me. So as I am very sure I like you, I need to find out if you like me also. If I like you so much and you don't like me, let's not do anything. Just let's let it go. So do you understand what I'm trying trying to say? So it's very important for you if you find a guy that you like in the most subtle way like i said let it show don't worry you don't need to do too much the man will understand and say okay there's a little bit of interest and then you can now pick up we just need something to pick up but i are going to hide everything i think it's only a simp that we want to still go ahead even if you are so not how going do you know the, the man is reciprocating the like Demand. Before you even start the, the subtle, the subtle how do you of... even know? You're not sure of what you're going to get, so you don't want to start something. So why do and people? Get why do people not want to take this? Okay, I feel okay. So there, are, like yeah, there is that. So I feel that you should be able to know when a person has normal interest in you, and then you should also know when it steps up to wanting to getting anything romantic with you so first off if the person doesn't you try to raise a conversation or something you try to show a light and the person is not picking up on that light that's a sign that okay i, I don't okay. think we are resonating yeah. so yeah. let it go don't show too much like i said the key word is subtle sure. yeah and if the person doesn't pick up let the person go okay. yes now why would the man see you and then you are the person that he likes or the type of person he wants to be with and then you are even going a step further to show a sign and you will not act on the sign no let him go there's no need okay trust me for men the slightest sign will pick it if you like the lady and no matter ordinary how the lady hello, hides it yes. you guys know right ordinary smile if you see that you are smiling at only that smile we can capitalize on it. <laughs> so if you are doing wow. more than that smile, you are even going step further to get gift and this smile is not reciprocating. Forget it. Maybe it doesn't feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So we took the liberty of asking some young men what they feel about and how they feel about a lady making the first move on them. A lot of them said, ah, it's, I, I prefer a lady making the first move. Do you think it's just that just capping or no, they, actually... are, they are not capping no. you can prefer a lady making the first move because you want to take advantage of the lady maybe that's why you are happy saying you prefer it and so they are not necessarily lying and like i said earlier it makes you feel good like oh someone is interested in me this much to even appropriate it it feels like there's a lot of dopamine in that oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah so i think that's the only way but it doesn't mean that the guy is going to now respect the girl make her like have anything serious with the girl mm. but i will be happy yes, okay. uh, i feel like would i be wrong if i say um most times where maybe the guy eventually decide to play along mm. because he has feelings um mm. how do i even put it okay the guy decides to play along <clears throat> and then maybe along the line uh feeling comes into play and mm. then you find them move on one year two years three years mm. so it's right to it's safe to say um the guy finally mm. found something special in that lady for him to continue and say oh i don't think i want to play the um away match thing i want to remember this person true very true and that's the only case these are the scenarios this this kind of scenario is the only time mm. such a relationship works out true very true so the men are trying. <laughs> 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 I'm making the first move. I'm making the first move. You can try as much as you can not to make the first move. Uh, no, uh, half of the time, more than half of the time, the, your your move will be mistaken uh, for being. It will reduce uh, your stress. Uh, like, it will reduce your stress to like thirty percent. You in game? The guy is a guy can stand up when you can use that. I can't do it though. I can't do it. I will be a millionaire. I can't do it. It's a lot to do. If I were a lady, I don't think I would. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think I would, but remember, <laughs> I, I attached something to, uh, that. to that. I said, 
there are people who are very particular about what they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to trade it for yeah, anything. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. if you are that type of person, true, true. show the guy the sign you want to show the guy. If it doesn't resonate, that's his problem. I think the, the major problem is the fact that people when someone turns you down, you want to make everything about you. No, it's not about you, not necessarily about you. It's it's about them. Maybe he's blind. Maybe he cannot see the value that you're bringing. Easier said so, than done. It's easier said than done. No, it's not about them. It's not about he. Easier easier said no, no, it's easier said than done. I'll rather not try. <laughs> so, so, Tony, your, the advice you have for them out there is: if you like a guy, certainly make the first move. That's what uh, yes, think. yes, as subtle as possible. And so, what's your advice for the guys who want to feel? Like I need to take advantage. Okay, so I, I exactly. yes, you need to. Like I said. The first thing that comes to mind is, uh uh, she cheap. Why is she coming? Why is she the one coming? Don't allow that thought to last. Mm -hmm. Don't just switch immediately to, okay, she might be someone who's particular about what they want and they'll go for it. So people are go getters. Yeah. So also look at it from that angle because you might be losing someone who's actually for you, someone who's, who's actually going to be a good force with you yeah. because you think the person is coming to meet you. So, think beyond that, that would come undeniable, but think beyond it and begin to look out for the person's value and then, yeah. Oh, Tony, God bless you. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. You so much. Even Thank though you I will know, not be taking his advice. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I will not be doing it, but I can't. thank you so much. I, I've got people. courage, but not there. No, no. Oh, I'm a go getter. I'm a go getter. I have not courage, that but goal. not there. I'm yeah. not, no, no, no. no, 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 no. Have you done that before? No, never. Never. No way. No way. You want Not the girl to open eyes for me to sing in? No way! <laughs> well, have you, have you, have you um, seen someone in the past that you really wish you could be with? Yes, you have a call for it. <laughs> 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 he said yes, Why you have a yes. <laughs> So how did you um, live with yourself knowing that, okay, because you didn't make the move, you can never be with this person? How, how did you feel? Yeah? How are you able you to know move that on thing. From you know that thing. You know, we've always had this orientation that you don't have any everything you want. You don't get everything, everything you, want. you want. So I've always if had it that. happens, it happens. Yeah, yeah if it doesn't, it you happen. move on. If it doesn't, you just move on. Yeah, so you move on. And and, 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 I, I, and I think most times, if you if you're actually waiting for the person to, you know, to come make the move, and the person ends up not making the move, over time the the, the feeling just. It drops. it drops, it just you feels away. You just return to normal. I think mm. nothing happened. You and, never had courage. Uh, you know that I am very specific on what I want. Mm. So I don't really. Uh, I'm very specific on what I want. Very specific. I think we're going to the point where I get to buy you lady shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the most. I, I think the the take home so for, for, for everybody thing. now would be. You will never get everything that you want. Yeah. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, so yeah, yes, that's when it. you mentioned that, yeah. I just knew. Okay, you were very, you are, you are, you know what you're doing exactly. Yeah. You're not saying something wrong things. So yeah, be ready to lose some. Once you are not ready to lose anything in life, I think that's the first mistake. That that be that be route to destruction. Yeah, so that's it. Some things let let it go. Let it go. Everything will not work. Mm -hmm. Every person will crush on you. Will not be with exactly. everybody will crush on yeah. Some, yeah. yeah. It might never happen. Yeah, it might happen. So yeah, we need some Yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you so much. Are we gonna have you back? Yeah, sometime in 2052. No! <laughs> Oh, do you know how old we'll be by then? <laughs> it's, no. it's been a great conversation, so yes. I would like oh. to be a part of this. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. So thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of wisdom spilled. So if you like, take it. <laughs> I, I learned so much as a lady. Yeah. So, so much. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us here once again. Thank you guys for, you know, hanging around, hanging out with us. So please, would love to hear from you. What's your take on this as a man? What do you think? As a lady, do you still think, ah, I will go for what I want. I will go get it. Please drop, leave your opinion in the comment section. And please also remember to follow us on all our socials. Instagram, TikTok, we underscore we dot kl. I repeat, we underscore we dot kl. On Facebook, keeping it real with Kosi and Rina. And please also remember that we match make. So just in case you are looking for 
Wait. Let me call it. Let me call it. No. 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 I'm not. And you wouldn't want to be match me. I don't know. what are you looking for? What is your What is your specification? What is your spec? Off camera, we will talk about that. Okay. Because I am not in a relationship. Okay, so let me return. <laughs> Off camera, by the time he gives us his specification, we will let, let you guys know. Exactly. So please, in case you are looking for the opposite sex to start something serious, we just hit us up with your specification. The email address right there in the description box. We would love to hear from you. We we'll bring you guys on the show and we can afford to also send you on a lunch date so you guys get to know each other better. If it's a hit, fine. If it's a miss, we'll try again. Yep. So, I think that's a wrap from us. Yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.